The Metro Richmond Zoo is still recovering from a fire in June, but the future is looking bright after a donation from a local veterinarian. That grant money will help the zoo get some new equipment and medicine. 10 News reporter Alyssa Ray has more on the rebuild. We uh, uh, we're happy to use this equipment and it's a uh, it's a big help because we uh, uh, we lost a lot in the fire. The Metro Richmond Zoo's director now saying that June's devastating fire was started by a golf cart charger. It destroyed the feeding storage area, zookeeper service area, as well as the animal hospital and all supplies inside. That's where Hannah Minch steps in. And I just really felt, um, you know, kind of, um, you know, fond of this place and the animals here. And I feel like they just will get better care with this kind of equipment. She says she felt it in her heart. It was important to donate anesthesia machines and other items from her own practice to the Metro Richmond Zoo. The anesthesia machines are actually newer versions of what the zoo had before, opening more doors for medical care. And so when she donated some machines that did both, there's two different types of gas you can use uh, with exotic animals, something called sevoflurane. Um, so I was pretty excited to get a, a buy machine that we could use both. She says these machines put animals under faster and even cuts down on their recovery time. The zoo director says for now they're using a temporary trailer as the clinic or even outsourcing if the illnesses rise above what they can offer at this point. Now we're in the rebuilding stages. Um, of course, it's going to take a little while. Alyssa Ray, 10 News, working for you.